How are you? Um, today we'll be talking about woodwork and tools. And our objective goes to us. At the end of this lesson, the student should be able to define woodwork and tools. Like every of you, should, one, every one of you should be able to define woodwork and tools. Should be able to identify at least three classes of woodwork and tools, and you should be able to state at least three uses of woodwork and tools. And you should be, to, you should be able to sketch the diagrams of woodwork and tools. So, like our first objective says, woodwork and tools are portable tools. They are what portable tools. When we talk about portable, they are they are sizable. They are they are small, they are not very heavy, they are not very large. They are portable tools used in wood operations. They are used in wood operations. Since we are talking about woodwork hand tools, so they can never be used in metal operations, but wood operations for number one, measuring, number two, machining, and the last one, fabricating wood to a desired finished product. So what are we trying to say in essence? That we use these tools actually in wood operations and we, we can use them for measuring that is you know when we want to measure from one place to, from one um, certain point to another point for measuring for machining you know there are some work that can be done too and for fabricating when we say fabricating we want to give out what we want so yeah there's a fabrication is a point whereby you tend to design and bring out what you want so we use for fabricating wood to a desired finished product that's why you can see many wood products of different shapes different fabrications and different types of measurement so the classes of woodwork and tools are as follows classes when we talk about classes that is they are classified there are many woodwork and tools but they are classified just like um when you have different kind of samsung phones samsung x samsung galaxy samsung this and but all of them they are all classified under samsung product just like the way we have iphone 6 iphone 5 iphone x all of them are classified under one name so we can have many woodwork and tools but they are classified under groups and the first group is what the measuring tools that is what are the kind of tools that we have the kind of woodwork tools that we use the main measuring tool in woodwork, in woodwork is called the metal rule. It is used for measuring the length, the width, and height of objects. It is made of either wood or stainless steel, which we can see here. We can see here the measuring tools. And another thing is the marking tool. That means we have different types of woodwork tools that are called marking tools and what are the marking tools the marking tools they are used to mark out they are used to mark out certain points just like the measuring tools is used to measure and the main one that we said here is the metal rule so whenever you are working on the wood and you are trying to measure anything just you need the metal rule but the marking out tools like you use these tools actually to mark out some points and ex examples of the marking out tools that we have the tri square and what is it used for it is used for ascertaining the rightness of edges and setting at an edge at an angle of 90 degrees so the tri square is actually used for ascertaining the rightness of edges that is you want to know how perfect you want to use it to what to make an edge perfect and you want to use it to set an edge at an angle of 90 degrees that means if you have a wood if you have a just if you have just a normal wood so if you want to set that normal wood at angle 90 degree that is that particular point that particular edge is always talking about edge actually so you want to set a particular edge of your wood to about 90 degrees you use a tri square and this is a tri square you can if you can see it's like 90 degrees actually if you bend it horizontally you see that it is actually at angle 90. another one is the sliding bevel sliding bevel is also another type of woodwork tool under marking out tool you know they are classified the first the first classification is the what is the measuring tool right the second one is the what the marking out tool so under this one we have the sliding bevel and what is the sliding bevel used for it is used to mark or check angles 
So the sliding bevel is used to mark, is used to mark or check angles in woodwork piece. So if you want to know, if you want to know an angle, or if you want to mark an angle. You know, for the tri square now, it's used to check the rightness of the edges at angle 90 degrees. Are you following? But for this sliding one, you use it to mark. Make sure you follow mark or check angles. It's used to mark or check angles, but not at any specific um, angle. Do you get? But it's used to mark or check angles, meaning the angles can be 30 degrees, 40 degrees, blah, 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 like that. And this is the diagram for a sliding bevel. So we have, and that one is called the meter square under the marking out tools so we have the meter square it looks like a sliding bevel look at them it looks like a sliding bevel the only difference is that this tool is used to mark or text object in angle 45 the difference between a tri square and a meter square is that now that the tri square is used for checking edges making edges right at angle 90 but for the meter square now is what at angle what 45 the meter square one is used to mark or test Look at that word, mark or test. Mark or test. But for the sliding, it's used to mark or check. Are you following? Are you getting those specific words? Mark or check. And why for the tri-square, it is used to check the rightness of edges. So for the tri-square, it is not used to mark and it's not used to check. But for the meter sliding bevel, it is used to mark or check. But for the meter square, it is used to mark or test. You see the difference? Angle 45. For the meter for the meter square, it is specific angle 45. But for the sliding bevel, no angle. Um, no specified angle. I mean, it can be any form of angle. Are you following? So this is the diagram for a meter square. The next one is called the wing compass. The wing compass. You must have seen something like this in your mass set. This compass is used for marking out arcs and circles. The wing compass, that is what we used to call compass in our mass sets. So it's used for marking out arcs. And circles you know a, a circle that is not complete is an arc do you get so when you want to draw an arc or you want to draw a circle or you want to get an arc out of a wood or a circle out of a wood you use the word the wing compass they are all under the marking out tools and another one under the marking out tool is called the marking gauge the marking gauge the marking gauge the marking gauge is used to mark parallel lines to the edge of a wooden object is it commonly let's come again it is used to work mark parallel lines this one now if you notice this one now this one also is marking but this one is marking parallel lines for the meter square it is marking and what for the meter square it is marking and testing angle 45 for the sliding bevel it is marking and checking marking or checking angles in woodwork and now for the marking gauge it is used to mark parallel so whenever you see anything like parallel lines to the edge of a wooden object whenever you see that okay whenever you ask okay what can be used to mark parallel lines don't think too far it is called the marking gauge it is for parallel lines on the edge of a wooden mati of a wooden what object and this is the diagram of a marking gauge so now the next one is called the divider another one under the marking out tools this is like the sixth the sixth one now the divider dividers are in our mass set already so dividers are used for what they are used for woodwork as a locking device it is used to scribe arcs and circles and set off distances actually they are used as a woodwork they are used for woodwork as a locking device just in in um in our in our own term let me just say the divider is used for marking out points it's used for transferring points it's just when you put the divider it transfer the length from one point to another so in woodwork that's for normal school work when we are working we use it to transfer length from one point to another the divider but now here it is saying it is used for woodwork as a locking device that is you, you might use it to pin something down use it to pin something use it to lock something down do you get so that it does not move you get so it is also used it says it's also used to scribe arcs and circles it's also used to scribe arcs and circles just like the compass the compass is used to mark the, your compass is used to what let's check it's used to mark out but this one is used to what scribe it's used to scribe arcs and circles and set off 
distances so this is the picture of a divider and the last one under marking out is called the trammel which is where we are going to stop for now the trammel where a compass cannot be applicable the trammel is used to mark out large diameters you know the compass can be used to mark out circles and arcs and you know a circle definitely has diameter and the diameter is of a circle is the point from one edge of the um circle to the other end to the other edge i mean sorry so if you have a very large distance or if you have a very large diameter you might not be able to use the um you might not be able to use the compass so wherever the compass cannot be applicable we can definitely make use of the what the trammel but it's just that the trammel is used to what mark out large diameter so the difference between the trammel and the compass is that trammel is used for what large diameters and why the um compass is just used for the normal diameters a smaller diameters not compared that cannot be compared to that of the what the trammel so we are going to be stopping here so today we learned the definition of woodwork and tools and um, the classification, we, we only talked about two classifications. That's the measuring tools and the marking out tool. And the measuring tool, we said we have a limited room. But under the marking out tool, we have about, we have about, um, we have about seven marking out tools. So from next class, we'll talk about the other classifications of tools. So for today, this is where we'll stop. And this is called the marking out tool. Thank you very much. I'll be giving you an assignment. So I want you to go to the assignment page. There's an assignment page on your portal where you can check assignments. The page where you will learn, you will check this um, lecture is actually different from the page where you will get the assignment. So once you are done with this lecture, I will send also the PDF of this material. I'll send this material also. So once you listen to this, check the material, write, write um, a note on it actually. Write a note on it, make some diagrams on it of the pictures you can actually find here and conveniently answer the assignment. Send your solutions to the assignment on the assignment portal. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next class. Thank you.